Hey everybody and welcome! Today we will be playing Roblox. Yep, we're finally back on here again. And honestly, it's good to be back on here. Um, I've let you guys know ahead of time we will not be stopping Roblox for the month of Halloween. Because we'll be doing everything that's horror themed. So I will try to find some horror games on Roblox to do for you guys in the future. And I already know a few of them actually. So that works out in our favor. Um... But yeah, right now it looks like uh, Military Tycoon is uh, still going. We're going to actually do that right now. I wonder if it's still the same one I was doing earlier. I will. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Up. Oh, yep. Alright, so it looks like I'm in a server. And it looks like, um, looks like America's already been picked. So let's hope South Korea didn't get picked. Yep, there it is. Let's do this. Yeah, but, oh. Oh. No. Uh. Sure. Oh, shoot. I don't have any guns. If I would have known that's what a deathmatch was, like it doesn't give you weapons, it just plops you right in there, I would have grabbed weapons beforehand. Wow, my fear. I was working out in the in my garage when all when uh, before the before I was supposed to start my stream, but I was a little busy. All right, so I may do that later. Uh, let me see. Uh, right now, I don't think I'm fully finished with everything yet. Uh, I need to double check. Yep, I'm still missing C4. I'm going to try to rebirth a couple more times, maybe a few more times, and try to unlock everything I can. If I can. So, uh, let's see how much... Oh! Lots of money! I didn't even know they were doing events like this. That's pretty cool. Alright, so this is done. C4 has now been added. Uh, I'm going to head upstairs, double check up there, and see if I have anything I'm missing. Oh, yep, I do. Alright, so everything is good on the second floor. Whoa! Shit. Oh, uh, better uh, turn on my uh, viewer account for YouTube as well. Alright, we still have the roof. We still have the Spaz 12, so I'm guessing the weapon line is still there. We still need to build. How did I kill iron? Oh. I forgot! I have anti-aircraft turrets! Or mainly, I think, missile launchers, but whatever. I basically just killed someone without even having to try. Yep, so we got parachute, first aid kit, flamethrower, minigun, and grenade launcher all unlocked. Because I had rebirthed twice, so that's already a good sign.
Okay, so with the money I have now, I should be able to start purchasing uh, some of the weapons here and tools. Alright, so I have the minigun, which I'm going to grab right now. Uh, I'm going to grab this one now. Flame door. Uh, grab this. Oh, wait, I can only... Fuck. <laughs> Great, so I have to die in order to re-equip these weapons again. Damn it. At least I have this baby. Alright, so with that done, now I'm gonna hurry up and go purchase the last weapon on that on that particular row. Which is the grenade launcher. I still have enough to do the spaz twelve here. Alright, so I just need the weapons on this wall. Um, okay, so I need that much to get the missile system. Alright. So, overall, I almost got everything purchased and can rebirth again. Which means I'll have, it, have some soldiers to uh, join in the fight. Gotta double check in here, see if everything's good. So once I get everything on the second, on the third floor in my uh, HQ, as as well as some stuff over at the port, I should be able to at least get to rebirth this time. So here we go. All right, so that's it. Actually, might as well take it. The quicker I can finish those weapons on the wall, the better. Oh, I actually have to pay? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, it's that. I still get a pretty good view of the area, though. Wait, how do I get out of this? 
There we go. I was wondering how you could get out of that damn damn uh, computer, but you just have to jump. What? Oh, they're packs. Okay. Wait, what happened to my legs? Okay, apparently, um, I don't know what happened to my legs. They, they're bent out of shape now. I can't get up. Hold on, I have to... Wait, I can respawn the character? Oh, no, no, not reset, just leave. And then join back in. Because, I don't know why, but somehow my legs glitched. dare attack me? Oh, they don't know what type of weapons I have. Let me go grab my minigun. Let me grab this, grab this, grab this, grab a first aid kit, of course, and possibly a parachute. Gonna grab the Steyr AUG. Gonna grab the Scout Sniper Rifle, Spaz 12. There we go. Now I can purchase the uh, M249 saw. And even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the Beret 50 caliber, I'm willing to get that too. There we go. Okay, so let's see which weapon I should use first. Oh, wait, whoops, I don't have body armor. Let's see, there it is. Alright. Now let's see how that guy handles me. Oh, whoops. Well, um, yeah, that was not actually my fault. That time it was the turrets.
Yeah, that's for shooting my base. Normally I would give mercy to you people, but yeah, not happening. I'm going to go back to my base and you guys better think about what you've done. Oh yeah, duh, I already got everything here. Besides, I'm not trying to be mean, it's just that you guys decided to attack me first, I'm attacking back. Get the aircraft carrier. Okay, boats are really hard to control, apparently. I think I purchased everything, which means now I can... Oops. Wait, how do I fly this thing? Rebirth. Oh god, not again! No. So right now I've rebirthed three times, which means I should have more access to more stuff now. Still, if you guys like what we do here, please follow us on Twitch, Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. We're hoping to reach 100 subscribers on YouTube as well as 100 followers on Facebook. And we're also hoping to reach up to 500 followers on Twitch. We're hoping to try to reach that goal by the end of the year. That would be awesome if you guys could join us on that. Also, I did uh, forget one thing. Give me a second. I need to go back to creator dashboard. There we go. There we go. I had to update with playing with viewers because I always do that with this uh, particular game.
Okay, apparently that wall glitched. Alright, so right now I have a bit of a head start on uh, what's going on here. I was wondering about that. Okay.
Huh, that's interesting. B2 bomber. I think it is, anyway. I know it's a stealth bomber, though. See over here, grab this, head down here, start working on some workers again. That happened. And the dude left. Huh. Okay.
got to do this right. If I time everything correctly, I should be able to get the anti-air defenses up and running. <clears throat> if everything goes well, of course. Yeah, I noticed that dude with the bomber didn't show up again. Now that I got an anti-air defense, it's going to be pretty tough for anybody to try to engage my uh, base without, well, getting shot out of the sky. Alright, I just signed the alliance with uh, French and East. Alright, French and East, you and I are allies, so don't worry, I will not attack you. And actually, hold on. Let me, uh, wait, uh, no, it's this one right here. Um, I will send foreign aid. There you go. I've sent you foreign aid, so hopefully this money helps. Built an electric fence. Oh, I got a stipend from the outpost. Awesome. <clears throat> there we go. Build that, build that, that, that.
just have to finish this up right here. So in order to get the APC, I would need to have four rebirths already done. So I'm only up to three, which is not that bad, actually. <clears throat> I'm going to take a look in the back. Yeah, that's really weird that the alliance just suddenly uh, disbanded, but she got he or she uh, just united there. All right. Oops. Unfortunately, I have no control over the soldier, but unfortunately, that's what happens. Oh, thank you. Hey, how you doing there, Scott Tree? Good to see you, man. And I don't have enough for that. Let me see, this is my third rebirth. I need one more to access, I think, a majority of the last, uh, the majority of the uh, remaining uh, upgrades, such as uh, new vehicles, new weapons, that sort of stuff. Also, I finally ranked up to private first class.
Alright, so let me see. Right now, we are still trying to gather enough resources to finish up all here. Plus, um, I'm not going to join any death matches until I know for certain I have all my gear ready, because last time I didn't have anything and I died. Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I think someone is trying to shoot my base, but oh well. Oh, that's why. So there's gunfight mainly between two guys with vehicles. Oops. There we go. Grab that. Head upstairs. I'm gonna try to get the most expensive stuff out of the way first. There we go. Now that my HQ is complete, now I just have to get the weapons and tools. No one won the deathmatch? Wow. These two are in a real gunfight right now. Oh, he died. Yikes. There we go. Get some money there. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's one more thing I need to get down in the down in the uh, the underground bunker yeah this thing and one of the items in there oh okay so that's how you do it okay go get out of that all right so that makes sense since now i'm a private first class i now have access to all of the uh all the upgrades for that particular station that's actually pretty cool <clears throat> so it's actually based on your uh based on your rank that's actually pretty interesting so it gives you more incentive to level up yourself killing other players so that's pretty interesting Yeah, I noticed a lot of people are shooting in my area, but hey. Holy crap, when did I get to that outpost all the way over there? Also, if anyone who is playing in this server uh, wants to... Uh, Wants me wants to borrow some weapons. Uh, I have a whole bunch of weapons over in my uh, base right now. I'm still trying to weigh on money so I can purchase the rest of them. 
But if you guys want to, as long as you guys aren't willing to kill me, you guys are willing to access the weapons in my base. Yeah, I haven't unlocked everything yet. I still need to get the flamethrower, minigun, grenade launcher here. Then I have to get the weapon wall set up here. Get the minigun first. There's a gunfight going on. Yeah, I'm also going to warn anyone who is not my ally. Um, if you don't want to die by missile strike, I suggest you stay away from my base. Because I have no control over them and they are just going to be ready to just shoot anything out of the sky. I think the only thing I can't control is that missile launcher thing, and that's it. Just not the missile turrets. Yeah, basically, uh, this. The missile system. That's the only thing I can control. The anti-air defenses, they're all automatic. I can't turn them off. Request? Um. Sure. Oh, fuck. Uh, never mind. That just disappeared. Alright, so. That poor player is just getting bombed. Well, it's not like I can help him, though. That's the problem. My turrets only attack anything that just happens to be above my base. I noticed I have a lot more neighbors now. Oh yeah, I finished all that. Um. First got the eight first aid from an airdrop. I think it's useless. Oh, what? What plane? If you're talking about the bomber that was circling overhead, no, that was not mine. I wish it was. Now I can purchase the missile system and get that out of the way. There we go. 
I think I should be almost done with getting everything in the game again. Everything I can purchase anyway. But then I'll have to reset again, rebirth again if I want to get more access to stuff. Almost done with, uh... Oh, if you saw my biplane, yes, that was mine. Before it got destroyed, but, well, whatever. Um... Still go over here. I have one last upgrade to get. Upgrades locked. And, and this is only for, uh... The ATV. So, basically, um, the higher rank I get... The more I get access to some of these uh, things. Oh, um, hold on. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, jump out of this. Oh, there you are. There he is. Alliance set. Uh, give me a second. I'm sending you foreign aid now. There you go. I sent you 5,000, so you should be able to use that as well. I won't rebirth just yet, just so you can, uh, just in case if you ever need anything. Oh, I still have to wait for that long? Damn it. Oh well. I have 109,000. Now 111,000, thanks to the stipend I got from the uh, base. I need to grab a speedboat. And then I need to get to the carrier. Here we go. The oil rig is now under our control. Almost died from drowning again. Hey, no worries, man.
God, the controls for this thing stupid! Oh God, I'm upside down! Okay, so now the controls are reversed. What happened? How am I driving upside down? Well, I died. You would think, but somehow I was upside down and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I think that should be everything. I think. Oh wait, no it's not. What am I missing? Oh, the Humvee! Damn it, I... Mm. Done. Now I should have everything finished. Wait, I don't? Oh, son of a... Everything's already built in here. Everything in here is done. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot about the second floor entirely. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. Is a really bad blunder on my part. I already finished the third floor, surprisingly enough. I finished that before I ever even did the second floor. That's absolutely embarrassing. Now, um, 
shit. Damn it, I'm only missing 4,000 more. This should be it, I hope. <clears throat> yep, there it is. Rebirth. Beginning now. Actually, wait. I will send four and eight to you before I eventually, uh, yeah, so there we go. Do that. Now rebirth. Because I know I'm going to lose all the money anyway. <clears throat> oh, God, not again! Does that every damn time. <clears throat> Oh, thank you for the foreign aid. That's gonna actually help a lot. There we go, get our workers all done. Get all the weapons here. Wait, did they? Okay, good. They didn't capture my oil rig, thank God. Because <clears throat> I need that for the extra stipend money. Holy crap, I have a lot of stipend money. Jeez. Sorry, Peter Parker, but you're dead now. Sorry, JC, you're not winning this fight.
God bless it. Did you not know that you can't just walk through a door? Especially a red door? I kind of feel bad for him now. I did not think he was going to do that. Yeah, for those of you guys who are playing in the server, I'm just going to let you guys know. Yeah, um, for those of you who are new to this game, don't walk through the red doors. You'll instantly die. Unless you're, unless you're an ally. If you're an ally, then you'll be more than likely to be able to go in. But, no. God bless it. Almost hit him with a shot. Not bad. You better run, asshole. I'm kidding, you're not an asshole. There, that's a warning shot. You're lucky I decided to let you live, pal. Don't tempt me. He is just tempting fate, isn't he? <laughs> hey, Scottry, how you doing with your base? Doing ev everything going well? Get the walls set up. Can't do jack with no weapons. Oh. Uh, actually, hang on for just a moment, dude. There. I sent some foreign aid to you, so hopefully you should have enough to purchase some weapons. Get some more workers. No worries, man. I got your back.
Actually, I really should be thanking you, Peter Parker, because... And this is the guy who's playing as Canada. Because thanks to you, now I'm at a high enough level that I can actually get some upgrades for my vehicles. My spawn boat. So, uh, sorry, speedboat. So, thanks. God bless it. I keep laying on those buttons. getting an AR, then I'm focusing on workers for money. Ah. Yeah, I'm trying to mainly concentrate on workers on my case because the faster I get money, the better. Yeah, because right now I just need two more workers up here and I should be able to have enough to start really raking in the dough. Plus, with the stipends I'm getting from all the outposts and oil rigs I own, that, that or should I say control... Makes things a little easier. So I'm at 16,000. Actually, yeah, actually, hang on. How am I compared to everybody else in this game? Alright, so... Uh, Alright, so Adam, So there's only like a few people playing. Ska, there's uh, Gerardo, there's... Okay, it looks like there's a few other people that just joined up, so... Oh, thank you for the foreign aid. That's actually going to help out tremendously. Anti-aircraft. So now, if anybody tries to send in their freaking aircraft, I can just blow them out of the sky. Okay, yeah, they captured one of the outposts. Fuck. Especially the one that was right nearby me.
There we got another worker. Someone had one mil and spent all of it? Are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta check this out. Yeah, I see the one that has the least amount. Oh my goodness, what? How? Oh my god, Mr. Hitman, why would you spend that much money? What did you spend it on? If he quickly built his base, then I completely understand how he pulled that off, but still, that's shocking. Holy hell. Alright, that's another worker. I'm going to try to scratch off the list here. There we go. That's done. We'll get some lights in here. I need 20,000 for this worker right here, and I'm guessing 25,000 for the final one. There we go. Now 20,000. Yep, that was right, 25,000. Go do that. Seems like there's something going on. Oh, I can disable them. Okay. Well, I'm still not going to. All workers are ready, so now I should be getting a whole lot more money now. Purchase a soldier. Have him go out there and capture some outposts. Thousand with a head upstairs. Huh? Oh, you son of a bitch. is shooting oh 
Someone's shooting at the jeep. Uh, hey, Scott, heads up, man. Looked like a dude in the jeep was heading right for your location. Uh, Japan's flag is a white background with a red circle in the middle. That's the Japanese flag. Um... I don't see Japan on here, though. So... That...
Uh, you get a bunker after you rebirth once, and after you build most of your base. Then it should be able to... Then you'll be able to gain access to it, allowing you to add additional workers, as well as get some extra gear that you can never get anywhere else. It also allows you to upgrade your vehicles if you so wish to. It's gonna cost to get a friggin' Chinook here. Two hundred thousand? Oh my god! That is a lot. Huh? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm just making sure that, uh, oh. Yeah, I guess so right now. Right now, um, I think there's one, I think me and North Korea's, uh, soldiers have been engaging in that one area trying to recapture that base. And now Greece now has it, which is a bunch of bullshit. This is absolute horseshit, man. Actually, now that I think about it, I think maybe it is time we just, uh, oh, what the hell? I forgot, I forgot, uh, to check over here. Oh, shoot, yeah, that outpost is under Japan's control, so you're gonna have to be wary of that, Scottry. But yeah, um, we are going to, God bless it, stop giving me those messages. Um, we are going to basically end it here. For now, of course, we still have RPG Sunday that's still happening. Very where well, that's gonna be happening tonight. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to join us. We have D and D, but we're gonna be switching up the times temporarily, and we're gonna be doing it from six to nine so that our buddy uh, I am Ender will be able to join us for the foreseeable future on that campaign. Um, 
when it comes down to, um, let me think. Oh yeah, Tuesday, we saw Mutant Football League, and we have Ghost, I gotta say it right, Ghost of Tsushima, as the game of Adventure Tuesday. And of course, on Friday, Friday, of course, remember this day, this is when we are fully going to commit to the horror aspect. So, we will be doing um, horror games on Roblox. Um, we're going to be doing um, mainly one horror game per day, which means Wednesday and Thursday. I will also be streaming on those days. But only for the month of October now. Only for the month of October. And when it comes down to uh, other stuff... I will let you guys know. But yeah, we're going to be doing horror games and movie reviews on Saturdays from 2 to 4. That's still happening. But yeah, pretty much every other day, we're going to have a horror game on those days. Sunday, we're going to have a horror game on Roblox. We're going to do a... Um, we're going to do uh, a campaign based in a horror genre... I have a great idea for the gang on that one. Um, and luckily enough, they get to use their characters. So that's pretty cool. Um, for Tuesday, uh, we'll be doing, again, horror games on Tuesdays. Um, let me see. For uh, Wednesday and Thursday, um, we'll do uh, horror games on those ones too. Same with Friday, and that's only for the month of October. But yeah, I hope you guys get a chance to join us for uh, horror, horror Month, as I call it. So it's going to be really, really fun. We're going to be playing games like Among Us, Jericho. Um, I guess you could say Bioshock has that horror feel to it. Um... Uh, definitely no um, Metro, the Metro series. We're definitely doing that one. Um, let me see. Give me a second. Uh, we're also going to be doing um, games like Prey, which I have for the 360, the 360 version. Uh, like I said, I have a whole bunch of horror games to choose from. I have plenty on my list. And we'll be doing as many as we can for the month of October. November, we're going to go back to our original schedule. So, if you guys are wondering if uh, we'll be doing anything significant. Like, uh, say if we were going to be doing um, for the month of November. Uh, no. Not this time. Normally, I would think we would, but I decided that instead we're going to go back to our original schedule on November after October is over with, and then we can really start concentrating on uh, doing the 12 Days of Christmas, which I promised you guys that at the end of no that uh, when November hits, I will then put a list of games... That you guys will get to shoot, will get to vote on in the Discord, which I'm actually gonna do right now. Give me a second. But yeah, on our Discord, you will have a chance once you join in. You will have a chance to vote for the games that will be added onto um, the 12 Days of Christmas. The one that has the most amount of vo votes will be the last one that we uh, put on the uh, for the last day, which will be on Christmas. Eve, so that will be your Christmas gift. And uh, the least voted one will be the first one we start off with. Um, let me see. Uh, oops. Uh, here we go. Uh, if you want to take a look at our website that has all the links to all of our channels that we have on our... Uh, from Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Here it is right here. Um, but yeah, basically the month of October, I will 
or should I say on September 30th, I will let you know how the schedule is going to work out for the month of October, okay? So you guys have a heads up on what you're going to be seeing for the foreseeable future and all that sort of stuff. So you guys have everything you need for that particular, uh, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, um, it's going to be only for the month of October we're going to do something like this. Because again, we love horror, a lot of people love horror games and it's definitely one of the uh, one of my few favorite genres and that's outside of what I usually play. So it's going to be interesting. Um, let me think. Oh yes, also, on October 31st, I will be wearing a costume. I will set up the voting tab on September 30th. Where I will let you guys... And sorry, um, October 31st is when I'm going to post up the, uh... The voting for the 12 Days of Christmas. Um... For, uh, uh, shoot, sorry, I'm, I'm blanking out here. Um, oh yeah, for my costume, I will post, uh, the suggestions that you guys can give me. Uh, I will be wearing that said costume for the, uh, for, uh, the 31st. And I will also, uh, I will also, of course, be giving candy out to the kids on, uh, Halloween, but still... You will be seeing me wearing a costume at that particular point, so... Yeah, you guys will get a chance to see me wear a costume that you guys will decide on. The voting will only go up until the 20th. That way, of October, that way it gives me plenty of time to, uh... Gather all the stuff I need, such as, uh, the actual costume... Uh, wigs or anything I might need, especially if I want to make my hair color a little bit different to match the character, that sort of stuff. So, just to let you guys know, that's what we're going to be going for in this case. I'm actually kind of excited. I haven't worn a costume in years, so it will be definitely a change of pace, but one that I believe is worth it. Um, let me see. Oh! And finally, um, yes, I am still trying to figure out why Backyard Baseball and Backyard Football aren't responding to, to responding to my Streamlabs. It has been a very, very hard time. I'm, I may just have to ask someone for help because right now, I honestly have no idea how to do it. I've just been, I've been literally pulling my hair out of my head for the last, uh, several months and I really want to try to do a backyard baseball stream for you guys and I think it'd be pretty cool to tr try something like that so yeah but however until then I will try to do more research and find out what I could do at this point alright so um, this is actually we're going to end it I hope we're going to go back we're going to leave the game here Still, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here on Roblox Sunday. Tonight, we're going to be doing RPGs. We're going to be doing Dragon Quest XI. We're going to do a brand new save file. So, it's going to be, it's going to be completely um, this profile right here, alright? So, it's going to be your character, again, going out there. I will also try to, uh, I will also have to try and do as many of the side quests as I can. Uh, oh, thank you. Um... So until then, I will see you all tonight, hopefully around 8 p.m., and if not, maybe around 9 p.m. at the latest. I will see you all next time, and this is Mr. Retroactive signing out. Have a great day, everyone.